family, I greet you all in the name of Jesus. I hope you and I are really doing well by the grace of God. Today, we are reacting to my own sister's video, Stella Zoom. My own sister, Stella. I greet you. If you are watching me, I greet you. Hello, Mrs. Hey. Let me see you in the comment section. <laughs> Let me see you in the comment section. Anyway, we are reacting to her video. It's an, uh, really an encouraging video uh, she made. It's really, really deep that I wish everyone could see this video. Yeah. Just follow her after this video. She has an amazing, uh, lot of videos about cooking, encouraging words. It's a woman deep rooted in the word of God. So I will encourage you not to even visit just because of food. But you visit the channel and subscribe to her due to the word of God rooted in her. Yeah. We are here to listen to something she went through. I think if you're not a strong woman, you can never endure all these things. Yeah. So let's please watch this encouraging video. And I wish there's someone out there facing this same problem or challenge. Just be encouraged. I know one day, one day, God will hear your prayers and your answer. So let's dig in and watch this video right now. God bless you all. Salute. Hello everyone. Hi guys. How are you guys doing? Let me take a sip of my water. I don't know why this hair will not lay flat. But look at this hair. And I'm about to wash my hair when I need to, so it, I'm not doing a hair video. <laughs> Steven is like, uh, you're not doing a video with your hair like that, are you? I'm like, no, I'm gonna cover my hair. So <laughs> cover it. <laughs> That's why I'm covering my hair because okay. I need I need a hair wash. Mm -hmm. It's like I need to wash my hair and treat it. So in case anybody wants to come to my house and get that job done, <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. I will. <laughs> that is just by the way. I hope you guys are having a fantastic um, weekend so far. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's really, really beautiful outside. I'm just not appreciating the pollen. It's, uh, it's, I feel like it's just too much. So anyway, if you're a new subscriber, I want to say thank you. Welcome to Stella Zone and to all my loyal subscribers, all my family out there. I want to say thank you for sticking with Stella Zone. Uh, God bless each and every one of you. So today, what am I going to talk about? So with my last video, I told you guys um, what I have been through, uh, what I've been through, or what I went through, and because most of you were sending me messages of me not seeing you. I think I'm adding better without the glasses. What do you guys think? <laughs> <laughs> so most of you guys were sending me like, I need to do an update. Where have I been? What's going on in, with my life, and so on and so forth. Most of you showed concern. A lot of you send me like you are praying for me, whatever is going on. And I really appreciate that as you genuinely like prayed for me from your heart. I pray that whatever it is, your heart desire that brings glory to the name of the almighty God, that God in his infinite mercy will grant it unto you to his glory alone in Jesus Christ's mighty amen. name. Can I get an amen? Amen. So after I shared what I've been through with my two miscarriage, I did get a lot of feedback from you people. I mean, it's been overwhelming. It's been mind blowing. Um, some of you messaged me privately at my Gmail. Some of you, a lot of you have been getting a lot of friends um, requests us uh, on Instagram. And some of you have DM me on Instagram and are sharing your story with me. One lady, I, I, my jaw just dropped. Like she shared her story with me about how she went through six, mm -hmm. six, six six miscarriages six one two three four five six how do you even recover from something like that like let me adjust this mm. yeah how do you recover how do you look six i had another lady who had had five miscarriages i mean they went on to have kids this the person that one i believe went through six miscarriages she she told me she had a baby girl this year so i want to say congratulations i celebrate mm -hmm. with you 
I rejoice with you and your family. We give glory to the name of the Almighty God for what He's done. The others have had five miscarriages. We, it's just, it's overwhelming. Like, it's just mind blown. I don't know how um, people go through this and they deal with it. And this is something that people really don't talk about. I feel like my head looks so big with my hair. <laughs> So this is, um, yeah, this is something in society that a lot of people don't talk about. Even when you go through it, your immediate family is maybe you and your husband that will mm -hmm. talk about it. But my husband and I, Stephen and I, did not really talk about it. The as we are both in pain, but we did not want to dwell on it. We all came, we are fine, we moved on. So, um, how did I deal? My the video I'm doing today is to talk about how I dealt with my miscarriage. You know, I felt like the, in the beginning when I got the news, the way I responded, you know, I I always say the way I responded prompted God to act. So, uh, it was last year in February. I don't want to be specific with the date, but it was last year in February, and I had a doctor's appointment. So, um. I, with my regular doctor, my regular OBGYN, as I saw her, and I think at 12 weeks or so, she was like, oh, they are seeing something with the baby, they are not sure. Um, so they want to send me to a specialist, a neonatal specialist, okay? Um, so they did, um, after four weeks, they did send me to a specialist. It was a Wednesday morning, but before that Wednesday, on Saturday, I felt in me, you know, if you're a mother, if you're a woman, you're pregnant, when something happens, mm -hmm. you can feel it within you. When something happens, you can really feel it within you. I had, I felt on that Saturday that something was wrong. Like, like, you know, I felt it in me on that Saturday before I went on that Wednesday. I felt it in me that either she's passed or something wasn't right i just felt it in me because uh, she was kicking very early on um i think at um, 17 weeks i could almost feel her kick uh and so that weekend it's like i didn't feel anything and i i knew in, within me that something was wrong but i was just hoping for the best okay i'm hoping this will not be a long video i was hoping for the best so wednesday we go in um, the lights like keep going on and off, so bear with me. So on Wednesday, um, let me see if I turn this one off. You want to come say hi? You can come say hi. They haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> um, so on Wednesday, we go to the doctor, and I'm sitting there. I'm feeling cold. It's like I have all this, like, cold. Um, honey, can you? I have all this, like, I, I was just shivering and everything. So they called us back into a room. I'm just going to cut it short. And then all of a sudden, I had these goosebumps, like, all over me. I was just feeling cold out of nowhere. So the ultrasound tech um, was taking the ultrasound, and she wouldn't put it on the screen. She would not, like, put it on the screen immediately. And she told me she would be right back. Okay, flip the thing. They're like... She told me she would be right back. Then, then I knew something was wrong. So I told mm. Stephen, I told my husband, I said, honey, something is wrong. I told him, I'm like, something is wrong. Maybe you can come say hi. I'm sure they, they haven't seen it. It's <laughs> Yeah, so you, um, yeah, so I knew something was wrong. I, I, pardon me, I'm supposed to like check and so I knew something was wrong. So she came, she went for a while, she was gone for a while, and I was just there. I was there was this cold, like I've never experienced this much. I, all of a sudden, I was just cold, and so she came back. Um, the doctor, she came back with the doctor, and the doctor was like, huh, Sorry, honey, we couldn't, um. If we can't find any heartbeat, I'm like, just, you know. And I know what that meant because I have been through it um, before. So she was like, oh, sorry, this, we couldn't find any heartbeat and we're going to give you your husband a minute and all that. The first thing that comes to my mind, like, I'm, I'm left with my husband out there. Like, my husband is sitting next to me, boiling, like, crying. And it's like, I'm so sorry you have to go through this the second time. I am so sorry. That's all he kept saying. I'm so, so sorry that you have to, you have to go through this again. I am so, so sorry. What comes into my mind, I don't even know what got into me. All of a sudden, I just got on my knees in the, uh, I, this is so vivid in my memory. 
I just got on my knees and then with my hands lifted up, all I could say was, thank you, God. That, that, is, uh, that was, I mean, I cried afterwards, but when he gave me the news, I was like, not that I didn't want, a, not that I did not want a child or anything, but I don't know what got into me. I just got on my knees, lifted my hands, and I said, thank you, God. I throw it all back to you. You know, because the Bible says in all things give thanks. So I guess that's what I did. And so um, when we got home, um, I mean, I cried on the way home, okay? We were both like, oh. And he was telling me, you know, it's okay. It's going to be fine. God is not done with us yet. I wish I had, I have one tenth of the faith that my husband has. But uh, so as we got home, I don't, uh, this time around, I don't know. But I guess God really prepared me for what was coming. So... As I got home, I went into our bedroom and I got on my knees and I said, I prayed, I was praying, I said, there is one thing that I need. I, I'm not going to question you and ask you why this, is, this happened, but I need strength. I need courage to pull through this. I need the strength and courage to go through this. Please give me the courage, give me the strength just to pull through this, just to go through this. And God was faithful. He did, he did. The weeks that followed, you know, I had a friend that, that same day out, I, I was just trying, I think I have a video on my phone the day that I went to the hospital to give birth. Um, I, I, I will post it out there. I did a little video before I, I went in to give birth to my daughter. And so, yeah, everything. The hospital asked me if I wanted to donate her body for them to um, bury us with other people, with other babies that have been in that same incident. I said no. My husband and I decided to uh, bury her ourselves, have a little funeral for her, which we did. And that's why I posted that um, picture on Instagram. And some of you have seen the picture that I posted on, on Instagram. So, yeah, the um, events that followed, you know, the Lord brought people my way. It was like in your time of waiting for him to answer you or for him to do it. For him to prove yourself great and mighty in your life. In that time of waiting, are you still listening to God? Or you are so angry that, you know, you keep blaming him. And I felt like the response prompted him or your response will prompt God to act. So, yeah, I had a friend that came to visit um, and she brought her a little baby. I think he was like four months old and it was just a joy. I had the chance to travel afterwards um, to be with this family and I was able to help them with their kids. It, it, it was just a tremendous journey from after I had the miscarriage on for God just, he was just teaching me. I guess he was just teaching me in his own way. So yes, <laughs> I, I know people say you know, you're strong and I don't know how you do it and things like that, but I, after hearing the stories of other people who have had multiple miscarriages and now our mothers, I mean our parents now, I'm telling you there's nothing too impossible. You know, I, we always say God is the impossibility specialist. I mean, whatever is impossible, he makes possible. Hmm. So if I can go through it, you know, people go through this and if care is not taken, it can have psychological effect, you know, on them. And I know a lot of you will be wondering, but um, what is wrong with you? And sometimes there's no, I, I feel like miscarriages fall into two things. Either there is um, a medical issue with you or it just happened. You know, even doctors will tell you it does happen. Hmm. You know, it, it happens and they don't have any medical explanation. Because I remember um, when mine happened, the day I was giving birth. Um, one of the uh, OBGYN came in and offered me two options for me to have an autopsy done or for me to have a chromosome test done. Hmm. Um, and so after careful consideration, I said, I want a chromosome test done to see if there is something hmm. with me or with my husband or with the baby that resulted in this. And the, when the test came back, there was nothing wrong with hmm. the baby. There was nothing wrong with me, with any of us. I mean, we're all perfect. It just happened. Things happen that we cannot explain. That is why sometimes, um, I tell, for me, everything I take it, I'm like, you know, the Bible says, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. It is in the Bible. So you have to be very prayerful and ask the Lord to bridle your tongue, to place his hand upon your mouth so that you speak less, you pray more. And so that's been my journey. That, that's what happened so far. 
and there's a lot more <laughs> that if I if I really want to share I mean if you guys want to know more I just ask me whatever questions uh, or anything you want me to address in my next video and I will do a video about it one last point is if you are going through this or if you are having um, difficulty, I know people with PCOS, like, you know, going through this and they, they, that some of them is not even able to get pregnant. It is possible. It is possible. As you're praying for the spiritual aspect, physically, there's a lot of things that you also need to do because most of the things we put in our body is so contaminated that it will blow your mind. So I say as you're doing... Um, as you're praying, be well informed, be well equipped, do your research, do your research, know your environment, know your body, okay? But it all comes to the battle. The battle is the Lord. So I hope this encourages you. If you're going through this, you need to talk to somebody, please reach out, reach out to someone because I've seen people break down. I've seen people like, there's no God. I don't trust God. Why would he let? What if should I have that? I, I was thinking that to myself. I was like, was it because I was going to the gym? Was it because I was working out? <clears throat> there's, there's, there's nothing. If it happened to happen, there's nothing that you did that was your fault. There was nothing. Because if you were doing something wrong, doctors would have seen it from the onset and told you, you, you need to relax, you need to be on bed rest. But some things are there that you can't control. So if you're going through this or if you've been through this, and you can't take it anymore, you're blaming yourself, please reach out to someone, talk to someone, pray with someone who you know you can genuinely trust, okay? All right, so until I come your way again with another video, if you have not subscribed to this channel, hit the subscribe button, and then hit that little bell sign, the notification button, so that when next I post a video, you'll be one of the first people to get a notification and like this video as well. Let me know what you want me to address because I think that's what I want to do also. I start um, cooking videos. You know, I had a lot of recipes that I've written down and I will bring that your way since we just moved in here. We still settle it in. Let me know some of the topics that you want me to address. If you have any questions that you want me to also do a video about, I would love to do that. So until I come away again, remain in God, remain blessed. Have a bless or a blissful Saturday. Bye, guys. Hmm. What an awesome testimony. Mr. Stella, wherever you are, God bless you. Amen. Hmm. I know many of you are dealing with such issues. Yours might be even more than what she experienced. But I just pray that one day, one day, God will answer your prayers. Our God will answer your prayers. Yeah, but just don't give up. I really know this sister. She is one of my best friends. She does not give up. That's one thing about Sister Stella. She doesn't give up. She is one positive woman. That's what I can say. Woman of faith. She does not give up. Yeah. So... Uh, I'm bringing this video to an end. If you are new to this channel, if I forget, subscribe to her channel, Stella Zoom. Visit her. She does cooking videos. She also inspires. She does a lot of videos. Yeah. So visit to her channel. What you are just seeing on the screen right now, just type the same name, Stella Zoom. Subscribe to her and hit the notification bell. Yeah. So. I am bringing this video to an end. See you in the next video. God bless you all. Shalom. Peace. Bye-bye. Yo, true time, Ebushia. Yanko po inshramo. If I just saw you new to this channel, if I show, click the subscribe button also. Now here's our dumb man. He may not be a peer or an opinion, but in peer click so. Now we are no one click a like button or so. Now we just comment every video and say, "We are saying you may we are a boy and my channel no so open anymore." See a person yanko pass him. You should be quick with yourself and any na.